Hi everyone, it's J1 Fire Systems and today we're going to be testing the SeaTech Active Sounder. So, uh, as you can see, we've got our wiring, we've got our positive and negative. Um, so, um, it's also connected to a 18 volts power source, uh, a plug. And in, and in a second, I'll put the power on and you should hear the sounder going off. So, in this video, we're going to be testing three main tones that are in a SeaTech Active uh, Bass Sounder. And that is a SeaTech evacuation tone, uh, the uh, the Apollo evacuation tone, and the Hochiki uh, and Fulion alternating tone. So, first off, we're going to hear the SeaTech evacuation tone. So, uh, here we go. We're going to put put the power on, and then we're going to uh, let it sound for a bit, a bit, and then we're going to put the power off, and then we're going to change the tone. So, uh, here we go. So that was the SeaTech evacuation tone. Uh, and next one we're going to do is the uh, Hochiki uh, Fulion alternating tone. So I'm going to change the dip switches in the Hochiki uh, to the Hochiki Fulion alternating tone. So we're now going to test the SeaTech active sounder for the Hochiki. Fully on alternating tone, so here we go. We're going to turn the switch on and we're going to hear the tone. So now finally, we're going to hear the Apollo evacuation tone. So we're now going to test the SeaTech Active Sounder for the Apollo Evacuation Tone. So here we go. And that's it for this video, uh, this tone video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and in the next video we're going to probably going to do some uh, house smoke alarm tests that i have in my house right now so i uh, hope you enjoyed this video of the testing the three main tones in the ctech active sounder and i'll see you next time for another video uh, goodbye guys